All right. I am getting comfy once more. Wander get a catheter for long sessions. Oh, gosh. Or the toilet couch suggestion. Oh, for goodness sake. The hardest of passes. <laughs> I just don't mix well with drinking a Do lot of water in one day. Professor Hojo is? Where he should be. Also, have not eaten much today? Because we, we just had the burgers and the onion rings. What's the plan? Little bit of recon. Need to find a way to infiltrate that room. You hear the words coming out of your mouth. We just gotta find that bathroom so we can get into the air duct. Ask anyone here. They can point us in the right direction. No thanks. We can find it on our own. Huh. So these are their conference rooms. They look very slick. I feel like I would Very have ice. Very intimidating. Yeah. I feel like I would have eye strain working here, though. Uh huh. All the low light. Yeah. Just being incapable of seeing. Yes. What is it? Do you know where the bathroom is? Excuse me. I would like to pee. Wait. Where is this the going? ladies' room? That's the women's bathroom. <laughs> Warning! You cannot enter. Warning reconnaissance. Like, it out gives me, like... Well, the men's bathroom is right next door. I know, I'm exploring, exploring. at this point. Wait, is this just a place for people to sit and read and drink? Seven? I can't bring myself to look. I went to the Skyview Hall. It's worse than I imagined. So, you're discussing a reconstruction plan in the meeting? Yeah. Director Tuesta was preparing a proposal. Alright, I've done my due diligence. What else do we have here? Just in case there's like an uh, an item. Yeah, an I, item. I or doubt that there'd be materia sitting around, but who knows? I guess they do turn the lights oh, on. Oh yeah, they do turn them up a little bit. A staff. I need something so stiff it's not it does look really cool. I'll, I'll give a lot of credit. They they really they put a lot of effort into making all this. Yeah, like. I almost get the feeling some executive at, at Square Enix is kind of like, can we remodel? This is the vision of the future. I want this! Right. I'll wait out here. Huh? You can't hang out here. Tifa, it'd be better if you waited inside. Maybe, but this is... Oh, never mind. You're right. It's a men's bathroom. I don't want to go in there. Oh, thank God. No one's in here. Love to show them what the ones down below look like. Come on. Let's just <laughs> find that duct. Yeah, let's take a good look at these bathrooms. So they have these nice, like, just sort of low-profile toilets. Look at all that toilet paper. Man. And look, it's even folded. You know when they, they put something new oh, in and wow. it's folded nicely at the edges? What's up with those urinals? They're fairly low. Uh, no, that's normal. What? No, I've seen the ones that are practically There's the higher level. ones, yeah, but then there are these, and then there are the ones that are just kind of flush with the floor. And they have the nice angular sinks. <laughs> like this cloud reflection, cloud to infinity. They don't want to deal with the, the, the reflections. Yeah, it, well, it, it would take too much. The vent. Gotcha. Better get that sword off your back if you're gonna crawl in there. Bob don't care. And obviously he can't fit. There's just no way. <sighs> Look, I'm on guard duty. Right. So, can I go with you? Don't want to be here any longer than I have to. Yeah, sure. Just follow behind. So, what's Barrett going to do? Sit in that stall the entire time? Yeah, just pretend he's taking just the world's hor most hor horrible shit. <laughs> or, good cover. I haven't seen the dude poop in hours, so it's a good time to dump a load. No one will even go into the bathroom. I mean, maybe they'll call an ambulance, but... 
Hopefully no one hears you. And it's a good thing that these look to be quite spacious for air vents. Anything in that corner? Doesn't look like it. Can you back up? Yes. I'm just expecting a creature to go. I know that that's not the case. This isn't the right. And look down there. I'm sure they're safe. But we live right by Sector 7, and I keep calling and calling, but I still can't get through. I heard that all the phone lines are down. It doesn't mean anything. You sure? Pretty sure. Hmm. Okay, so she's worried about friends or family. Eric doesn't poop, he just shoots. It just converts all waste into bullets. Oh gosh. Talking about talk about shooting the shit. <laughs> Depending on the board's decision, we may start two projects simultaneously, rebuilding the plate and the city. Members of the urban planning division will likely take point on both. Director Tuesti has ordered teams to come up with 3, 5, and 10-year plans. Each team needs to come up with a detailed proposal and schedule. We're going to have to put a lot of man hours into this, so we'll need to start ASAP. Does anyone have any questions at all? <sighs> if not, then we'll wait for the director to return. That voice is familiar. Yeah. I remember reading a like breakdown of how impossible it would be to actually be in vents like these. Mm -hmm. That it would be gross and horrible. And too flimsy. And wouldn't there be yeah. dust coating the walls? Uh, I mean, the whole thing would be pretty much covered in dust, but... Ooh, materia. But yeah, HP up. The, uh, the dust would be awful. Back it up, Tifa. Uh... But yeah, you'd start crawling around in one of these and immediately would probably just fall down. Because no mm -hmm. one actually secures these to be used for people to go through generally. Yep. Yeah. Come on, come on, Cloud. There we go. Crawl right. This is loud in the vent, every breath would shake it. You would you would definitely sound a lot worse than this. Mm-hmm. Especially Cloud. It's sort of just scrape on everything. This it? Looks like it. The end of the line. I'm telling you, I saw him. With my own eyes, sauntering down the corridor. We don't have time for this nonsense. Ah, he was as close to me as you are now. The, the shock of it made me spill my tea. Enough already. <sighs> If there are intruders in the building, my men will deal with them. But, Mr. President, sir, I swear to you... Reeve. Sir, I have the damage assessment for Sector 7, and I'm afraid the figures are catastrophic. Spare us the doom and gloom. Uh, was there anything else? Uh... Well, sir, I've also drafted a that reconstruction plan for... Huh? Not with the Ancient in our custody once more. Uh, with respect, sir, Two I don't see words, how... words, Reeve. <sighs> Neo Midgar. <sighs> in their promised land... We will build a new Mako-powered metropolis. Mr. President, we still don't know for sure that the Promised Land even... <sighs> Professor Hojo. The test results were within expectations. The specimen is somewhat lacking compared to her pure-blood mother, but for our purposes, she should more than suffice. 
So she can lead us to the promised land? Well, Mr. President, that remains to be seen. I would like your permission to secure her cooperation through more forceful means. Forceful, yet gentle. She is a precious resource that must be handled with care. Personally, I've never had a problem with torture. My armory is at your disposal should you require anything. I had something more psychological in mind. Better to scar the psyche than mar the flesh. <laughs> Proceed as you see fit. However, you will not make the same mistake twice. Is that clear? If I may, Mr. President, I have an idea how we might mitigate the risks. Simply put, we could have the ancient reproduce. In the absence yeah. of a second specimen, we would need to identify an alternative mate. I would start with candidates from Soldier. These would, of course, include S and G types. Quite frankly, there's no telling what kind of properties a crossbred specimen might possess. So, what say you all? <sighs> Gross. Hmm. Uh. If there is nothing else, Mr. President! Meeting adjourned. Uh, <laughs> please, sir! Something stinks. Anything? The man in the lab coat. Head of R&D. We follow him. Okay. And then we kill the son of a bitch. Not until he's led us to Aerith. That's the plan. Damn, Barrett. I said take a dump. I didn't mean alert them with said dump. <laughs> Something stinks my ass. Yeah, we definitely need to break out of there. They're going to use her as a... Uh, some Gross. kind of breeding machine. Gross. Walking the halls of this very building, who would have believed it? I wonder... Hmm, were I to arrange a face-to-face... <laughs> How I should like to meet their offspring. No! He wants to pair Sephiroth uh, with her? But that can wait. First, we must have answers. A simple psychoactive agent should suffice. Nothing likely to cause any long-term damage. <laughs> Let's go. Right. <laughs> 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 Which begs the question, was Aerith a product of these experiments, or was she just yeah, no half-human from someone that her mother fell in love with or had a relationship with? Hopefully the latter. Oh, well, there's more than enough items, hopefully. What if I, like... Couple remedies. Probably use them. It's not a bad idea. Okay, Aerith was born from. Her mother's husband. So, it looks like Hojo kid kidnapped them after Aerith. Mm hmm. Either she. when she, the mother was already pregnant or when Aerith had already been born. Yeah. People are saying that Hojo had worse designs than the original. What, did he want to use himself? Ugh. 
That's my or guess. Hmm. Or perhaps instead. This one. This is definitely the one. Hmm. Wait a minute. Wait. Yes, yes. Why didn't I think of that earlier? Really? What? Wait. It's... Wait. You mustn't overthink it. In seven? <laughs> In seven, they what? We were planning on using red. They were going to use red? Oh, boy, that's gross. But red isn't even vaguely humanoid. <sighs> what? Not that that matters, Don't but move. what? Hmm. I like any. Bluffing. What is this? A dozen bullets in your head, unless you open that door right now. You must be the ones who've been stirring up trouble lately. The eco-terrorists? Hmm. If so, I can't imagine what business you have with me. The president's upstairs. Go on, shoot. Shut up. Keep walking. <laughs> None of y'all better move a muscle. Do stop pushing. Unlike you, I am less accustomed to physical violence. You'll get used to it. What is it that you want? Our friend. She's in your lab. Really? Tell us where Aerith is. Oh, so she's your friend. Well, well, well. In that case, yes, that might do the trick. Mind speaking up, son? It's nothing. Just imagining how she might react if I were to present to her your fresh corpses. Wait, did they just kill a an assistant? I think so. <laughs> you will regret this. Why not shoot him? Why not break his fingers to begin with? Is that Cthulhu? It looks like Cthulhu. Has tentacles. Damn. Has claws. <clears throat> It bellows at its shoulder. That's a thing. Oh, wait, hold up. What's wrong? I don't have a Cess equipped. Uh, why do you keep forgetting? Because I unequipped something else. We shouldn't have to redo the fight, though. Look, I took taking it off because I didn't really need it, but... We're fighting new enemies, though. Yeah. I didn't need it at the time. I just forgot to put it back on after the arena battles, I think. <laughs> yeah, okay. so what I was saying earlier about the whole, like, Aerith in red? Really? People in chat are saying that red was last of his kind and he wanted to see what uh. Yeah. I mean, gross. No matter the circumstances or who he elected as a candidate for a sperm donor, that's just gross. Gross. No. Women should not be forced to have children against their will. Gross. Okay. And we can skip the cutscene. Mm hmm.
I just wanted to make furries. Ah! Alright. Don't overdo it. I got this. Okay. Abilities. Saves. No what do we got? We have the HO5 OPTC. Does that mean? Oh, I'm just trying to see if it could spell anything, but not really. Organisms extruded by the artificial life form specimen HO512. Capable of autonomous movement, they swarm around their parent to protect them from threats. Do nothing. Oh, that is HO512 itself. A monster created by Shinra's R&D division. Highly adaptable, it evolves during battle, where it exhibits extraordinary offensive and restorative capabilities. So, but it is definitely a flesh monster. Yup. Comprised of different creatures. It's nothing. Gotcha. <laughs> Very hard to hit this thing. It is. Yeah, I have to kill the babies. Alright, Barret, Prey, Tifa, Steel. This thing has stealable bits. Failed to steal item. Steal. Failed to steal item. Maybe it's on a different part of his body. Okay, fine. I will fight the Babs. Specimen. Ah, oh, failed again. Yeah, this is gonna take a while, I think. Did you need to steal something from his claw? Uh, I don't think I need to steal it from the claw. I think I could select the claw. That might be interesting. Whatever. Okay, booty steal. The claw? Got it. Yeah. Talisman. Right. Switch the bear. Barret, also known as Team Healer. And also this way I don't have to be in melee range. Ooh, gas? Yeah, not just expulsion. Hey, Barret had one of those earlier. <laughs> Andre. What? You mean in the bathroom? Oh, just smelt it. But there it dealt it. Loud. Bells. Thunder. Look at this. Get rid of the dream creatures. Oh, did you take the arm off? Yep, took one of its arms off. Ow. I don't think there's any other parts to immediately shoot. Oh. It was weird seeing Cloud and Tifa just sort of sliding back and forth on the platform. It just... Oh. Nope. It's doing a oh, thing. Oh, it's sucking out Mako. It like... More babies. Ah! Okay. Cloud. Spells. Dara. Hit the babies. <laughs> Did they have eyeballs before? Ow. That was faster. I think they did. We just didn't really see them. Tifa abilities. Did I take away her ability to pray? I did. Yeah, it really does look like a Resident Evil monster. Yeah. Gosh, I would, I would honestly play a Square Enix Resident Evil series. Just get somebody on the design team for that. Or you mean? Well, do you mean 
a fantasy zombie story? Yeah, or kinda. A sci-fi zombie story or His shoulder mouth. It's very fast. Well, he got the arm off. Abilities. Keep praying. So he keeps summoning new ones. Too bad that there's no way to break all the canisters so that the Mako can't be absorbed by him anymore. I can still Unless fight. it's the big tank. Is there anything that you need to, like, punch? Like a a button or something to drain the Mako so you can't use it again? Don't think so. Keep explode. Yeah. Apparently they're suicide bombers. I was not aware on that one. So what's this guy's weaknesses? Not much. <laughs> Immune to poison. Just one thing. Yep. So my usual tactics don't really work. Uh so I'm just going with uh healing. Staggered, try to lay the hurt on him. Yep. Uh, abilities. Abilities can. Can you try anything else? Bring in the heat! This dive kick. You already got back up, though, which is yeah, a shame. Yeah, I know. Staggered went way too fast. I do kind of wish you could break stuff like that, but the answer is nope. Is he morphing them? They're just powered. Steady. This is really cool, though. It, you mean the boss like, arena and the creature? Yeah. But yeah, I, I do wish that we could just destroy the Mako so that he wouldn't be able to use it anymore. Wow, this is. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. You didn't bring out your summon or. Bad time for it. Mm -hmm. No need to come. Bring it. Barrett got <laughs> smacked around, and mm -hmm. I. Nope. I think it's a good tactic to switch between characters every once in a while, so that you draw the attentions of the creature to you. Sadly, the only summon I really summon is. Uh... Yeah, Carbuncle. Spirit, limit, break, fire in the hole. Claw. 
Like one of the Warcraft tunes. Uh, huh. tunes. But it's it's done. Hey, Hojo's getting away. Felt like Cloud was gonna say something. Mm-hmm. Huh. You know that would be really a. It... That's where she was being kept. Or no, wait, is that red? Yeah, it's red. Why can't we say anything? And he really does have a little flame at the end of his tail? Huh. Yeah, I can't do anything about it though. <laughs> Resting while he's getting away. Let's see, no level two limit break on Barrett. I keep forgetting to switch him. Around. Uh, let's see. Is it battle settings? Barrett. Dolphin flurry. Okay. There we go. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, it would be a really neat new game plus to like play through this game a second time around, but Cloud doesn't have as many memory problems. The actions still play out the same, but you get more of a commentary from him. Oh look, now they show him. Taking Aerith back. Oh, take her back, you say? Correct me if I am wrong, but did the girl not come here of her own free will? Or do you mean to tell me that she is your personal property? She only came here to save Marlene! I'm afraid you misunderstand. better. Especially because you're stunned now. Okay. They're weaker to fire. 
but I don't have the AoE fire equipped, and that's okay. Looks like your models got it wrong. Yes, an unknown variable, perhaps. Well, no matter. Reinforcements will soon arrive. But will they get here in time to save you from me? Hi, are you a soldier? Yeah. No, not quite. Oh, now I recall. My memory was mistaken. My boy, you weren't a soldier. What? Oh, what is this fascinating phenomenon? What's happening? Where are you taking me? What are those things up to this time? Cloud! <gasps> Barrett. Got it. Stand back. <sighs> you came for me. Yep. You good? I'm great. Lightsabers. Thanks for it's saving Jedi. Mommy. Mm -hmm. Oh, you will save it for later. Get ready. Gotcha. Sloppy. Try me. It's on you. All right. Watch All you set. What? You scared of something? Good to use success. So now he's saying that Cloud isn't a soldier. Nope. Troopers belong to the Shinra's Public Security Division, protected by reinforced armor developed by the Advanced Weaponry Division, capable of inflicting heavy damage with their beam sword and heavy machine gun. As they are some of the most elite troopers in the military, they are tasked with guarding Shinra's Better. HQ. Hmm. Spells, thunder. So if he isn't a soldier... No. Then why does he have the gear and the training and... I mean, Let's and that guy downstairs yeah. is like, hey, we thought you died. It's zero suit goons. Mm-hmm. I mean, is it possible that... Cloud probably isn't an ancient. No. He just has the eyes because of the Mako infusion. But if he wasn't part of the soldier program... Eh? Unless he's part of whatever the reunion bit is. <laughs> Seth Roth definitely seems to have an interest in him. My turn. Bob's <laughs> weird. I mean, main protagonist tend to be. There has to be something that sets them apart. Guys, don't don't give anything away. I'm just speculating. Yeah. You okay? Mm hmm Thank you. No biggie. Let's get out of here. <sighs> the hell was that thing? We need to go. <sighs> Come on. Bash, no one spoil it for Bash Boy. He will get it when he gets it. Mainly because, like, it's interesting. Mm -mm. What's wrong with this? Oh, because he was taken by the phantoms. He looks malnourished. Mm -hmm. <sighs> what? You want to go? Stop. <clears throat> this child's a friend.
So what the hell is it? A fascinating question. Oh, <laughs> did it just talk? You asked what it is. Hmm. I am that which you see before you. Nothing more. I'd appreciate it if we simply left it at that. Agreed? Thirteen? Red Thirteen. The designation given to me by Hojo. Then... you must have another name. What is it? We got away. So, we're gonna go get this son of a bitch. woman being held there? Surrounded by organic matter of some sort? But is it the one exerting control over you? And oddly enough, it's the same green fuzz that Aerith can use on other people. Like, talking. Gen Genova? Is that what he's saying? Wow. Mother. That's some pretty immediate stuff. They have come again. You know, Reno, I think you might be due for some R&R. &R. Nah, I'm good. What are we going to do about Sector 7? <sighs> we are going to do nothing. Been thinking. Was all that necessary? Had we refused, someone else would have completed the task. We have spared that someone the burden of a guilty conscience. Perhaps that will ease yours. <sighs> yeah, nope. Let's try another tack then. They were a sacrifice to balance the scales. Say what? After everything we'd taken from the planet, we were due to give something back. Do you actually believe that? Does it matter? <clears throat> yes. Understood. The VP needs us. Goodness, you're awake. <sighs> you okay? Yeah. Where are we? Where I lived when I was still a child.
Are those all the things she saw in her dreams? Mm hmm There's a bunch of people. Can you go over there? And they have the materia summoning all these creatures. Flowers. There's that lily. That's actually really pretty. Mm -hmm. Music, too. Mm -hmm. You can tell she kind of improved over the course of it, starting <laughs> with the really little ones. Are those crayons? Can you look down there? Are they like chalk pastel or what are they? Yeah, they look like crayons. Like oil pastels. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oil pastel would make sense on metal. It would, might actually be able to fix itself there. Loot. Reinforce staff. Are you okay? Maybe you should rest a little longer. You My mom and I stayed here oh, nope. years ago when I was just a little girl. The room looks exactly the same. Oh, there's more drawings and more crayons. Or mm -hmm. chalk pastels. Well, they look like they have crayon sides on them. They even look like Crayola. Yeah, so they probably are. I mean, cray crayons are, I guess, wax pastels. I'm the one who carried you here. Bathroom, bathtub. Every morning, they'd come and take my mom away. I remember crying here alone. Aerith, before we break out of here, talk to us. There's so much we don't know. I'm a descendant of the ancients. That's pretty much it, really. Oh, but just so you know, that's not their actual name. They called themselves the Setra. We who were born of the planet, with her we speak, her flesh we shape. Unto her promised land shall we one day return. By her loving grace and providence, may we take our place in paradise. You know it. Yeah, well, honestly, I thought that part was just a fairy tale. Mm. Shinra thinks it's true. They've been searching for the promised land for a long time. And they must think you can lead them to it. Can you? <sighs> Nope. Someday, maybe, I'll find it in me. But now, not even if I wanted to. Even if you could, that land belongs to the... I mean, to you and your people. Shinra's after it because they believe it's rich in Mako. Mako, they've got no right to claim. But they'll try to take it anyway, won't they? <clears throat> Greedy bastards will never stop. Okay, new plan. Y'all take Aerith and get the hell out of here. Me, I'm gonna go bust some Shinra heads. Barrett, wait. You can't do that. Huh? <sighs> <sighs> oh, great. These assholes again. Probably some Shinra science experiment. Whispers. Perhaps best described as arbiters of fate. They are drawn to those who attempt to alter destiny's course and ensure they do not. Like capital D? Destiny? The flow of the great river that is the planet from inception to oblivion. And you're saying that that flow is somehow... fixed? Yes. For it is the will of the planet itself. So if we're destined for a bleak future, these whispers will try to keep us on that course? Now wait just a damn minute. How in the hell can you possibly know any of that? Spouting that cryptic stuff, which could all be bullshit. I mean, ain't you a Shinra lab rat or dog? I'm not a rat dog. 
When Aerith reached out to me, I found this knowledge of the Whispers. Listen to me. Please. Aerith. The Shinra Electric Power Company isn't the real enemy. It started with them, sure, but I promise you, there's a much bigger threat. I just want to do everything in my power to help. All of you. And the planet. Aerith, what are you not telling us? I'm lost in a maze, and every step is taking me further from the path. Every time the whispers touch me, I lose something, a part of myself. <laughs> Follow them, the yellow flowers. find a way out together. Okay. Weird. Aha! There you are. Rick, what are you mm. doing, man? Hey, guys, long time no see. Wes? You're here? You, you shouldn't be up and moving. I'm feeling much better thanks to Elmira's cooking. Ah, but that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. Listen, any moment now... <laughs> what was that? An explosion? Anomalous shivers and temperature HQ's levels. HQ's running the show this time. They're raising hell to try and flush Anomalous out the president. And temperature uh, levels. Engaging this complicates matters. Anomalous that explosion just now put the whole building on high alert. <laughs> so now we're trapped in here? Engaging lockdown protocol. No need to panic, little lady. See? You can still move freely within Hojo's laboratory. Find a way to the roof. An avalanche chopper will come to extract you. HQ's bailing us out? I doubt it. Not after all the shit we've pulled. I asked them really nicely. Like super duper nicely. Thanks, Wedge. Just get to the roof, okay? Uh, oh? Uh, oh. I didn't ask him to do any of that. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm glad he did. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna still chew him out for it later. Okay. I should probably do a thing. As I have not used Aerith in some time. A very long time. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to give everybody steadfast block. That should be good. <laughs> okay, I want to quick go fight something. I mean, we should be okay. I'm just going to bemoan the loss of Barrett, the team healer. What just were these bit. other rooms? Just uh, yeah, physicians, anyway, it looks we like. we gotta get to the roof, right? Then we can use the same elevator that Hojo did. That's a nice voice actor for Red. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, uh... We're not injured in the slightest. We're just getting out of here. I just wanted to like fight a thing. I'm really surprised they didn't talk to Cloud about why, why Cloud fainted. This way. Yes, his odor still lingers. You know? 
Okay, we can stop. I just wanted to fight one thing, but well, at this point, you might you might just get to the helicopter. I don't know. I don't think so. They were saying this chapter is long. But if you get up the elevator, this is the next floor that takes you to the helicopter, right? What happened here? The little ones in the pods. Where did they go? That stinks in here. Uh, maybe they got. Yeah, you're gonna have to fight all those little critters again, aren't you? Dang it, Barrett! Stop pooping.